And for fun, let's just show you some neat things. Like what we'll do is we'll click Project, Add, and I'll go to Audio, and I'll choose uh, Speech Recognition. Let's do that. This one here. And we'll click on the gear to configure it. And let's type in uh, Robot, do your dance. And then the code that we'll run, we'll edit here. We can... We can do type code in easy script, or we can use Blockly. Let's use Blockly. Let's choose movement, and let's grab our auto position here. This one here, auto position, and we'll select from the drop down the sloppy dance, Booyah, yeah, and click save. And then we can click save again, and then now we can say, "Robot, do your dance." Robot, stop. Cool. And then we can create another frame. Let's create, make the robot wave. So we'll click on the auto position here. And there's our robot. Okay. And we'll click new frame and we'll type in wave one. And let's move, let's go real time mode. Make sure this is checked here. And let's move this arm um, up. Like this. And we'll also create another frame called Wave 2. And we'll put its arm over here, like this. Another frame called Wave 3. And we'll put it over here. And just for fun, we'll move this arm over here, his left arm, or his right arm, we'll move it down. So it goes into a different, more, here, more organic, oops, one wrong, more organic position, like that. That's good, like that. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll click on action, and now that we have these two frames for waving, we'll create a thing called wave, and we'll add wave one, wave two, Wave three, wave two, wave three, wave two, and then we'll go back to wave one, and then we'll go back to stand. There you go. And it might be a neat idea to have the robot speak and say that it sees us, that's glad to see us. We click on edit a script. And we'll go to audio, and we'll say, say out of the PC because we can't talk out of the robot because there's no speaker on this particular controller. And we'll click text and we'll type in, hello world, it is nice to meet you. And we'll click save. And we'll click save again. So let's put the robot, hit stop just to put the robot in a standing position. And then let's go to our auto positioner or speech recognition over here. Click on here and we'll type in Robot, say hello. And we'll edit. And the code that we want to run under movement is auto position, this one here. Make sure you select this one. And then we'll choose wave. And we'll click save. And click save again. So now we can go. Let's watch the robot. Robot, say hello. Hello world, it is nice to meet you. Robot, do your dance. <laughs> so cool. Robot, say hello. Hello world, it is nice to meet you. Robot, do your dance. <laughs> Super awesome. Oh, I get to have so much fun doing this kind of stuff. Robot, stop. Okay, now let's do something else. Let's um, let's add the camera. And we'll choose the camera that's on my robot, on my laptop here. And the resolution we have to choose for that, because it's a, uh, 
it's, I think it's 1280 by 720. We'll start it. Let's see if it sees me. Oh, there I am. Move my mic. Let's try making it track something when it sees something. Let's teach it this beer. So we'll go tracking. Um, object, train an object. We'll type in the word beer. And we'll select an area of the screen. Oh man, is it ever small? And we'll say, learn this area. This area. I guess it's because it's such a small, high resolution that it's grabbing at such a small little area. There we go. Now it's got it. Okay. So now we can go under this gear here, and we can say scripts. When tracking starts, we can make the robot do something. I have an idea. Let's make the robot go. We'll, we'll make a frame here. We'll call this frame, um, give me one. And we'll have his, put his arms up. Like this. And then we'll click new frame two. And we'll pull his arms in. And then we'll make another one called Give Me Three, where I put his arms out and I raise his arms up. And then we'll do is we'll create an action and we'll put in, we'll call it Give Me. And we'll put Give Me One, Give Me Two, Give Me One, Give Me Two, Give Me One, Give Me Three, and then back to stand. And in the code that will make it speak, we'll say about oh, this computer, some audio. Hey, give me that beer. And then now, let's um, add it to the speed recognition and say, robot, have a beer. And we'll go movement, and we'll say this. We'll say give me. There we go. Cool. Robot, have a beer. Hey, give me that beer. Okay. And then what we could do is in our camera control now. We so on tracking we want to choose object tracking, and then we want to go to the gear here, and choose scripts and choose on tracking script. And then we want to do is we want to choose movement and our position, auto position here. And we'll select give me. And we'll click save and save. And then now a close up. Hold this up to the camera. Hey, give me that beer. And when it sees the beer, he wants the beer. Hey, give me that beer. <laughs> Hold on, there's a wire in front hey, of the. Give me there we go. Beer. <laughs> Hello, world. It is nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's super cool. Hello, world. It Whoa. is nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So there's our, there's our Dynamaxel working with, uh, with Easy Builder on the Robotus OpenCM and program it with the Arduino code and the rest just works. Okay guys, we'll see you on the next video.